I have a couple old DeWalt 18 volt batteries in front of me and I'm going to try to fix these batteries. Is it really as easy as what people say it is? I don't know. Follow along. Let's find out. I've never done this before. Maybe you haven't either. But let's tear these apart at the very least. We'll just have some old batteries that are junk. Join me as I share stories of my life as a kid, bringing junk home and turning it into something useful. Here's these batteries that you see in front of you. They have a, a torque screw in the top of them. And the best I can tell, it's uh, torque three, but I don't know for sure. Let's open this up and see what we have. There's two, four, six screws. Let's just open one of these up and see what's inside here. Like I said, I've never really done anything like this before, but a friend of mine brought me these batteries and told me or asked me if I wanted to tackle them, and I said I would. Um, I looked online and on some YouTube channels and from what I could tell they make it they make it seem extremely easy to fix these but uh, let's open one up and just take a look. I may not even want to tackle it because I really don't know much about electricity and batteries and Here's these screws. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope. Let's put those right there. Pull these out. And let's just zoom out just a little bit so you can see better. This is coming off. Looks like if you look in here, I don't know if you can see that or not. There's two clips in there. Looks to me like those have to go down. No, nope, maybe not. I don't know. You get a screwdriver and push down on it and see what... Oh, it slid right out. It's as simple as that, I guess. Well, this is what I see. Boy, what the heck? It's got something over the top of it. It's got this right here, whatever that is. I, I, I don't know. A couple of little tabs fastened on top. So I guess I'm going to try to pull the whole works out of there if it'll come. It does. And slide it out. So this is what we end up with. And I think what I'm going to try to do is test each one of these batteries individually, I guess. I don't know what this stuff is, but I bet you it conducts electricity. So there's top and bottom. I just don't know. If you know, let me know. I'd really be interested, in, but uh, when I get done here, we might just have a, a junk battery because I honestly don't know what I'm doing. But I can see I need to get me a knife to peel this off, so I'm going to walk over to my toolbox and get a knife. I actually got three. I got this razor blade scraper. I got my old skinning knife, that's really an old one, and then a utility knife. Um, I'm going to start with this scraper here and see if I can't scrape that off. What's holding it? It looks like it's just glue. Oh, there she comes. Wait a minute. There's a piece of metal right there. Now it's starting to peel right off. You don't want to tear it, so we're going to do this. 
I wish I knew what I was doing here. You see that okay? I'm just peeling this off. I don't know what it is, really. But, oh, that tore a little bit. I don't like that. So let's, let's just work our way down in here. Let's get this longer knife and see if I can't get, get across and pull that up as I come. Kind of like filleting a fish, isn't it? You just got to fillet the batteries. Oops, what am I on there? I got to, oh, tore that. Daggummit. Yep. I tried a new product out at home this morning. My wife had it sitting on our uh, sink countertop in the bathroom. It said, Frank, wrinkle release. So I sprayed some on my face and, and uh, to see if it actually worked. But man, did that burn my eyes. It didn't work either, so I wouldn't suggest anybody getting any of that because it really doesn't work. Yep, it was called wrinkle release and it had a fresh scent to it. I'm going to have to ask her why she bought that, because if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Anyway, take a look at this face. Does it have wrinkles in it? Okay, okay. Maybe it does. Let's look at this battery some more. I think what I'm going to do is try to peel the bottom side off. And, you know, maybe this sticky stuff is just there to hold the batteries from falling apart because now that I got it off, look at that. And I think what I'm going to try to do is test these batteries individually and see what happens. Oh, yeah, that's peeling right off of there. That, Okay, right there. Is that what that's for, just to hold those together? Oh, we'll see. Okay, now we've got these all up loose, except this right here. I can't get, get it off of this, whatever this is for. And this is... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I can't hurt anything. I'm just going to I'm going to get a scissors to cut that. Here again, I have two scissors. I'm going to try this one first. What I'm going to do is just slice it right there. Hey, that cut perfectly. And now, let's see if I can't. Oh, come on. Slide that right. Oh, I know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to cut it right here, too. And then I can peel that off there and that off there, maybe. Let's see. Get that out. You getting this? Help me out, guys. What am I doing wrong here? Yeah, some guys say all you got to do is put a charge to it again. And with a, a good battery. I tried that. If that works, it might for some, but it sure didn't for me. So, now these batteries are all glued together. Now I want to see how they're put together. I think they just got a little solder in each of these little tabs. I don't know. Yep, that's metal. I'm going to take a picture of this so I know how that is supposed to go because we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven batteries, the shiny side up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven batteries with the shiny side down. So we got seven batteries and seven batteries. What is this, anyway? Could this be what's bad? 
Maybe it isn't the batteries. I wonder if I test one of these, what we end up with. Let's see what kind of power we got in this right here, for instance, and this right here. Ah, that's nothing. So let's try it this way. That's nothing. Why is that all corroded right there? What is that? Could that be the problem? Is corrosion on some of these terminals? I don't know. Let's see if I can't get one of them loose without cutting myself. I wonder if those are soldered and if I would put a little heat on each of those if they would come loose because those are not coming off of there. I'm just going to end up cutting myself big time and then I'll throw this battery completely across the shop. That came loose. And that came loose. Now, maybe that came loose. It's still stuck. Oh, I see. There's two dots holding it. There's two little dots on the bottom of, of, of these things. I just want to get one battery off and see what happens. That seems like it's spot welded to the top of the battery. So what the heck? I'm going to have to figure out how to get these loose because this doesn't want to come off either. And this is all rusted. I see a lot of rust in these batteries. And that absolutely could be part of the issue. I'm not sure how those are fastened. Uh, and there's two wires going down there. And that wire is attached to this lead. So that's number one. And this wire looks like it might be attached to this lead, so that's number two, I guess. And then they're all paralleled together. Okay, how can I get that off without ruining it? Let's try this one on top, since it's easier to get to, maybe. Hey, there I'm getting getting somewhere. Oh boy, come on. Oh, I'm going to cut myself for sure. There, we got one loose. There, we got that loose. Those little dots are really tight. Loose. Oh, come on. Loose. Okay. Those two batteries are loose. Now the only thing holding them together is that. So let me get those loose. Okay, I got one loose without breaking these tabs. Okay, what I was hoping to do is just take a look. Look at that. Ground positive if I if I know anything about it so let's check and see if there's any juice at all in this battery it doesn't show any so what do I need to check uh, I wish I knew how to use this thing. Okay, 
let's shut this off. If I tear every one of these apart, that's going to take forever to get them back hooked together. So what do I do here, guys? I see this is rusted. That definitely could be an issue. And this doesn't look very good either, but it doesn't look that bad. See if I pull that, and that would come right out of there. See what I'm saying? All that right in there. What is that? Well, I do not know. So let me think about this a bit. Went ahead and took the other one apart also, and I tested each of the batteries. And the way you do that is you just put positive and negative, and this should read something. It's not reading. I think there was only one or two batteries in this whole pack that read something. And there was only one battery in this pack that read something. So, I don't know a lot about this. I, I admitted that up front. But I think I know enough to say this with confidence. That if I was going to repair this and this... I would have to have at least enough of these batteries to make up one good pack so that it would charge and hold a charge. But with only one or two good in each of the packs, that doesn't give me the amount of batteries I need to repair these. So these cells need to be replaced and I'm not going to do that. Well, I guess that didn't work the way I thought it was going to. I learned a couple of things by tearing these apart. What I learned is it's not something I want to typically mess with because I'm just too unfamiliar with a multi-tester and I really don't know a lot about these batteries. But like I've said, I know enough that to say this with confidence that if you got that many dead cells in a battery it's going to be hard pressed to repair them. Um, so I just put them all back together. I'll just have to contact my friend and tell him that this one I couldn't get done. I know that you have probably worked on these. You know a lot more about them than I do. Let me know what you think, and if you got any comments about a multimeter, boy, I'd like to get educated on that as well. So leave your uh, suggestions and comments uh, below. If you like my content and want to subscribe to my channel, I'd encourage you to do so. Hit that notification button so you know when my next video is out. If you, if you want to see a video where I struggled on repairing an old refrigerator, look at this right here. I think you'll be surprised on some of the struggles I had with that, but did finally get it taken care of. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Just not by me this time. Can you fix it? Probably. Until the next one.